Good morning. How are you today? I just got to filming a video of Remembered. We always assume like when we look at other people and like they're doing things that everybody else is just so like confident about everything that they're doing, but it's like, it's really not like that. I actually think that I'm going to make myself some lunch because I'm starving. Mark and I went and got some groceries yesterday. Walmart was a disaster. Why are there so many people at the store now? We all got stuff to do, but it's like, can you guys just go sit in your car until I'm done? Then I'll go sit in my car until you're done and we could just like take turns. When I'm in Walmart, I go to turn down an aisle, but there's literally like a dozen carts down one aisle of people that are all as overwhelmed as me looking at each other. Like, how do I get past you? Oh, there's certain items where I'm like, I need that. But then there's other things where I'm like, I want to look. I want to explore. I want to see what's new and I can't when everybody's looking at me like Let's move so I can get my Taco Bell refried beans, please So Walmart was crazy, but we got some groceries and I'm excited because I love when we have new things I got to figure out what I'm gonna eat and I don't know I told you guys I was gonna organize my pantry with you and I'm still going to do that But I did a little bit of tearing through it yesterday because I was like I need to see what's in here because I keep losing food in this freaking god-awful pantry because it's so narrow And I found some things in there that I forgot about we got some new groceries and we also got some things that I forgot existed I'm gonna go and see what I can find for food and then we're gonna eat and talk about some stuff. So give me just a minute, I'll be right back. I'm in my kitchen, I've changed my hair. I have a little ponytail and it's like parted down the middle. I don't know how to do my hair. My hair just kind of exists and I just kind of exist with it. <laughs> now I found something in my pantry that I forgot that I had. I bought like, well, Mark bought because I wasn't going anywhere in the first trimester because I was sick as hell, tired, nauseous, all the above. So he went to the store. Only thing I could eat at the beginning was plain stuff. If it had any sort of flavor or smell, it made me nauseous. He got me like these, plain rice cakes. Pantry is so small. So what I did was I took these little sandwich bags and I put two in a bag. These are just plain, lightly salted. I'll put the brand here because I can't remember what the brand is, but we'll put her here, okay? Um, it's this. I remember seeing online that people were putting toppings on these. All sorts of things. I also have like caramel ones, but I don't think I want these. I feel like, okay, here's what, here, here's what I'm thinking. I have only ever eaten rice cake just plain. And now I'm like super inspired. Like there were some that had like peanut butter on it and honey. Dude, they do all sorts of things with this. You could put like whipped cream on it and like strawberries. You could put peanut butter on it and chocolate chips. You could put cottage cheese on it and everything bagel seasoning, which I'm thinking about doing on one, which may sound gross to some of you guys, but that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. I also saw one, it had like spinach and like tuna fish. And I was like, I have tuna. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. By the way, just FYI, my doctor told me I can have some tuna. I haven't had tuna in months. Totally fine. I can have a little bit of tuna approved by my doctor. I think I'm gonna take these two rice cakes and I think I'm gonna do a cottage cheese everything bagel and then a tuna one and see what they taste like. Oh my god guys I'm getting crazy. Cue the me creating this shit okay. Now let's quiet things down for a little bit of ASMR. <laughs>
I need a tray in front of me, like something that I can put like right here so you guys can see my food. I wanna try the everything bagel one first. I'm afraid this one's gonna get soggy. So I'm gonna try this. Let me know if you guys have tried this down below. Have you tried it and do you like it? I'm kinda scared because I've never done this before. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but it sounds good. So let's do it. Warning, I'm leaving the crunching satisfying effect in, obviously. Mm. Plain? <laughs> Good, but really plain. Okay, we're gonna try the tuna one now. This one's gonna be really messy. We're gonna try it. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm, this is where it's at. If you... <coughs> Just coughed all roll over my food, no big deal. If you like tuna, try this one. This is good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The tuna one was so good, but now I have spinach in my teeth. <laughs> the tuna one was good, and that's also a good way to get in like, spinach and stuff like that because I've really disliked vegetables during this pregnancy. That's a good way to get some vegetables in. If you don't like tuna, I feel like you could put like rotisserie chicken on that. The cottage cheese one, I wouldn't recommend that. <sighs> like it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. <laughs> Like, I can see how some people like it. Like, if you like cottage cheese with, like, fruit, you could probably put some, like, pineapple on top of it, maybe. I'm personally not gonna finish the cottage cheese one. I'm just plain. These Chobani yogurts, they do have a lot of sugar in them. This one is, well, 13 grams of sugar for the whole container, so. I mean, it's really not bad, but it does have, like, added sugar and stuff. But I like to put in, like, whole pieces of fruit in it. So you get, like, chunks of fruit, like, chunks of fresh fruit at the same time. It's so good. So I'm waiting to see what my third trimester cravings are gonna be. Like I've really, really liked fruit and sweets. Oh my God, now that I've finished my food, something new has popped up in my life, unfortunately. I have like eczema on my face. I had eczema before I got pregnant. It was a little spot right here on my cheek. It was like the width of a pencil. And oh my God, that bird. That bird looked like it was literally like dropping from the sky like a hot potato. And it would kind of come and go. Like sometimes it would be more like dry and red than other times. I noticed that it was like spreading and I had like a ton of dots. And then all of a sudden it was on this side of my cheek too. And they were super red and super dry and super flaky. And then I found a spot on my leg, on my thigh. It's exactly like it. And it's like, I think it's eczema. Even putting moisturizer on it doesn't help. I'm really hoping that it goes away after the baby's here, but my skin has been clearer than it's ever been. I don't know if it's because of pregnancy or if it's because of the prenatals or if it's because of both. I started taking prenatals when we knew we were gonna try. We weren't trying yet, but we knew we were going to. So I just started taking them just to, you know, get my body ready. I really can tell the difference in how I feel with vitamins versus without. So if you don't take vitamins, this is your sign. Start taking them. But I think the biotin in them is helping my skin, hair, and nails. I also feel like part of it is being pregnant because I have heard some people's skin gets clear when they get pregnant. Some people get acne when they get pregnant. Mine thankfully got clear because I'm one of those unlucky 31 year old adults that has adult acne. So pregnancy cleared that up for me, but now I got these red blotches on my skin and I'm like, why can't life be perfect? So so I entered the third trimester. I've been in the third trimester for three days. I noticed stretch marks on my stomach, which is fine. Listen, we need to normalize stretch marks. We need to stop being scared to say we have stretch marks or act like it's a bad thing. Like, I'm sorry. Social media is making people think that they have to be perfect and you don't. I got stretch marks when I went through puberty and all the, you know, lovely places, thighs, hips, breasts. And so I knew that when I got pregnant, I was probably gonna get them. In my second trimester, I started noticing noticing that on my hips that stretch marks were like branching off of the ones I already had and didn't really bother me honestly and then it happened on my thighs too and I was like you know this is fine because I already have them here I've had them here for literally like 19 20 years of my life now I got them really young I was like 11 or 12 years old and um, just when I went through puberty and my body started changing I just got them really easily my skin doesn't stretch like some women's do and it's not a bad thing or a good thing or oh sucks to be me <laughs> lucky for for somebody who doesn't, it's just skin. It's just stretch marks. I don't understand the big deal. But I found some new ones. I have like four little dots underneath my stomach 
where I can see that they're forming. And honestly, I think prepping myself from before I even got pregnant with the fact that I was probably gonna get them and I knew my stomach was never gonna be the same, my body is never gonna be the same. How do you expect a woman's body to ever be the same after she gave birth? That's one thing that really bothers me is people talk about bouncing back. Why do you have to bounce back? It's amazing and beautiful and wonderful. You carried a human being and gave birth to a human, to a life. That is so much more incredible than what your body looks like or what it looked like before or what it looks like after. I don't like the way that we're conditioned to view these things. It's, to me, that's what's not normal is that certain things are viewed as bad. Really talking to myself before I got pregnant about how things are gonna change and I need to be okay with that. I'm not gonna look exactly the way that I do now after I give birth. Talking to myself about that and understanding that before I got pregnant is really helping me just not care at all that I'm getting stretch marks. I knew it was probably gonna happen. I did everything people said to do, the cocoa butter, the argan oil. I maybe missed a few days throughout the entire pregnancy. My belly is always shining bright like a diamond. I was oiling that thing up like crazy. It didn't work for me. It doesn't work for everybody. Some people just get stretch marks and that's okay. Hey, that's okay. And I'm not even trying to give myself a pep talk here. I don't really need one anymore. I gave myself a pep talk about it a long time ago and helped normalize that within myself. I struggled with insecurities and feeling bad about myself for a huge portion of my life. And when I look back on it, I think about all the times that like I avoided going to the swimming pool with my friends or wearing an outfit that I really liked because of something stupid and artificial that literally nobody cared about but myself. I look back on that and I just think about missed opportunities and things that I could have done that I didn't do because of what I looked like. One thing I'll tell you is whether you have a baby or whether you don't have a baby, whether you want one, whether you don't, your body changes anyways. Before I got pregnant, my 31 year old body, completely different than my 18 year old body. I knew a lot of people that got pregnant really young and they struggled with insecurities with certain parts of their body, which was completely valid. I'm not invalidating that. Whatever insecurity you struggle with, you are valid in expressing how you feel about it. But whenever I was younger, I knew people that got pregnant when they were younger and and they experienced changes with their bodies and their breasts and their stomachs and things like that were really difficult for them because it happens really quickly. Like nine months goes by really fast. There was a lot of fears associated with that being younger, like being worried about like my body changing. But one thing I've learned as being someone who decided to have my first baby older as opposed to having my first baby younger, like a lot of people that I knew, is that whether you have a baby or don't have a baby, your body changes anyway. I think we tend to forget that one day we're gonna be like those cute little 80, 90 year old people that are like, you know, walking a little slower, <laughs> the cute little wrinkles on their face and just, you know, one day that's gonna be us. And it doesn't matter like what you looked like at this age versus what you look like at that age. What matters is the life experiences that you had, how happy you were through your life. There is truly nothing more detrimental to our own life experiences and having fun and enjoying being alive than wasting our time worrying about the fact that I have purple lines forming on my stomach that nobody really sees anyway unless I want to show them and if I choose to show them and they don't like it who cares? <laughs> For instance, I get comments on my septum ring all the time. People always make a comment about take that thing out of your nose. That doesn't bother me. So why should it bother me if somebody doesn't like that I have stretch marks? Not their stomach. <laughs> Honestly, people who have these like strong opinions about anybody's body, a woman or a man, whoever you are, because it affects men too. There are men that have stretch marks. There are men that have body issues. Whether you're a man or a woman, people's opinions on what you look like is really their problem. I think they're the ones that need to work on the way they're viewing the world and the way they're viewing other people and how they're living their life, being so critical over things that don't affect them at all. I wanted to just kind of give this body positivity talk for you if maybe that was something that you struggled with or that you felt it is beautiful. Like what our bodies do, creating a human, I could cry. Like The fact that like my son is growing inside of my body and my body can do these amazing things. I would have stretch marks from my toe to the top of my head. <laughs> whatever my body has to do and whatever my body does to grow this beautiful, precious human being in my belly, I'm gonna accept it. And you should too. It's a beautiful thing. And don't let artificial, stupid body standards, ridiculous things people say, and the overly photoshopped pictures and videos on social media, don't let that stuff rob you from your experience of 
outgrowing a human. I just hope this makes some people feel better because I know that some people probably are gonna struggle with that. And I'm just gonna be on here and be like, I'm getting stretch marks. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna look like at the end of this, but you know what? I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see how my body changes. I hope that you know that you're beautiful and that you feel beautiful if you had a baby. Whether your body bounced back, I hate that phrase, but whether your body bounced back or whether it looks entirely different. You're fucking beautiful.